Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Abhi Chemistry Tutorial. So in this video we are going to learn about the structural elucidation of chloromycetin or chloramphenic also both are the same compound and we are going to discuss its structural elucidation. So before going into the video if you have not subscribed to my channel please take a second to subscribe to my channel because many people are watching without subscribing nearly 94 percentage people are watching without subscribing so I think many people are benefited from my videos but many are not subscribing so please take a second to subscribe before moving into the class. So this is the structure of chloromycetin as you can see. So it is actually an antibiotic and it is prepared by the microbe Streptomyces venisulae. So the molecular formula or we are going to learn the cons chemical constitution and the molecular formula is the first step in any case of structural elucidation. And the molecular formula of chloromycetin is C11H12Cl2N2O5. So, here you can see you have a nitro group, NO2 group, a chlorine atom, two chlorine atoms and uh, you are, and hydroxyl groups. So, we are going to discuss each functional groups one by one. So, first we are going to learn the presence of nitro group. So, this involves the simple test we do in the laboratory uh, for confirmation of nitro group. So, uh, we know that diacetization and coupling reaction uh, we get a dye. So it is called dye test in our laboratories. So we are going to do the same test here to find whether nitro group is present in our compound. So chloramphenicol or chloromycetin is first treated with zinc or zinc and HCl. So the nitro group will be converted to the amino group NH2. And now we are going to add sodium nitrite and which causes diacetization to form N2Cl. And then we are adding beta naphthol. We get coupling reaction and finally we are getting an orange red precipitate. And this shows that our compound chloramphenicol contains a nitro group. So the nitro group is conformed. And similarly, we are going to take the absorption spectrum or UV spectrum of this chloromycetin and it is almost similar to that of nitrobenzene. So, you know, only this much is called nitrobenzene. So, so this is called nitrobenzene. So, it is similar to that of nitrobenzene. So, it's very sure that nitro group is present in chloromycetin. So the next step is the presence of chlorine atom. So we have two chlorine atoms and now we are going to reduce the chloramphenicol catalytically. So catalytic reduction of chloramphenicol gives a product and this product is subjected to UV spectrum and the spectrum obtained is similar to paratoledine. And during this reaction, the solution contains ionic chlorines in it. So this shows that chloramphenicol is a para nitrobenzene substituted compound in which chlorine is present in the side chain. So chlorine is present in the side chain in a para nitrobenzene substituted compound. So that is the conclusion from this test. Okay. So the next step is hydrolysis. So what is hydrolysis? Addition of water. So this is a very very important step or the turning point in chloramphenicol structural elucidation. So chloramycetin is treated with water. We get two compounds and one compound is dichloroacetic acid and the other one is a base which is optically active. So we are getting an optically active base when treated with water. So now if we know the structure of this base we can know the structure of this uh, chloramphenicol or chloromycetin. So now we are going to do or study the structural elucidation of this base. So this is the structure of base. So before moving into the structural elucidation of base, if you have not subscribed till now, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. So as I told you, many people, nearly 90%, 94% people are watching without subscribing. So please uh, like this video, share to your friends and uh, you please subscribe to our channel. So that I will be getting motivated to mo do more and more videos and I can run this channel continuously in a better way. Okay, so the molecular formula of the base is C9H12N2O4 and the same case it has a nitro group, 
two OH group and one amino group. So now we are going to learn for the NO2 group. It is the same reaction as I told before in the case of chloromycetin. So what is it? Diacetization followed by coupling uh, by beta naphthol to get an orange red precipitate and also the UV absorption spectrum reveals that it is similar to nitrobenzene and so we have nitro group in the structure of base. So the next step is OH group and the primary amino group. So we are going to do acetylation or benzoylation and we are getting triacetyl derivative or we, if you are use, doing benzoylation we will get tribenzoyl derivative. So let us consider acetylation alone here. So this reaction shows that it has two OH group and one amino group. So let me tell you how I concluded that we have two OH group. So we know clearly that hydroxyl groups on oxidation we get ketones and uh, aldehydes that is we get carbonyl compounds on oxidation of any alcohol so similarly if you are oxidizing this base we get uh, a ketonic group and a aldehydic group in this oxidized compound of the base which means there are two OH groups and uh, the OH group which converted into ketone is of secondary type and the OH group converted to aldehyde group is of primary type. So two hydroxyl groups are present and what about the third acetyl group? It is due to the presence of primary amino group. So finally we decided or we concluded what are the functional groups present in the structure of a base. As the same way I told the hydrolysis is the turning point in the case of chloromycetin. Here in the case of base, per iodic acid oxidation is the turning point. So base is subjected to per iodic acid oxidation. So what is per iodic acid? HiO4 is per iodic acid. So when we are doing this oxidation, we get three compounds. So para nitrobenzaldehyde ammonia and formaldehyde. From these products, we can understand that when we are putting these three products all together, we get the structure of base like this. So what is the IUPAC name of this structure? 2 amino, that is give number as 1, 2 and 3. 2 amino, 1 para nitro, so para portion, para nitrophenyl, propane 3 carbons, 1, 3 diol, so 2 amino, 1 para nitrophenyl propane 1 3 diol okay now the important step i told since it is a turning point chloromycetin do not react with periodic acid so base reacts with periodic acid but chloromycetin does not react with periodic acid what may be the reason the amino group present in the base is blocked or it is substituted by some other groups. So, using the previous considerations and all the reactions, finally we concluded the structure of chloromycetin like this and the IUPAC name of this structure is D-. minus. As I told you before, the bases are also an optically active compound. So, chloromycetin is also an optically active compound. So, D- minus is optically active. Okay, so D-3O minus same way 1, 2, 3, 2 dichloroacetamino. So dichloroacetamino, 1 para nitrophenyl, propane, 1, 3 diol. Okay, D, 3 O, D minus 3 O, 2 dichloroacetamino, 1 para nitrophenyl, propane, 1, 3 diol. So this is the structure of chloromycetin. So in the case of any structural elucidation we know that finally the structure of any compound is confirmed by its synthesis. So we are going to look into the synthesis of chloromycetin next. So before starting the synthesis if you have not subscribed once again I remind you to subscribe to our channel and also uh, like this video and share to all your friends and recommend our channel to your friends and uh, make them to watch these videos. Okay, so I hope you will do all these things for me so that we will grow together. So the synthesis of chloromycetin is said to be long et al synthesis. That is the 
synthesis is proposed by the synthesis was proposed by long and his co-workers so long et al synthesis so the starting compound is treated with bromine we get uh, one hydrogen is substituted by bromine here and next this compound will substitute nh2 in the place of bromine and the next step acetic anhydride the one hydrogen is replaced by acetyl group cooch3 and next adding formaldehyde and aqueous na2co3 sodium carbonate we get this hydrogen replaced by ch2oh so this hydrogen ch2 this hydrogen is replaced by ch2oh now we are reducing this compound so on reduction what happens this keto group is reduced to an alcoholic group as you can see here so c double bond o is reduced to choh a secondary alcohol and this on treatment with hydrochloric acid we can split this like this so h and cl so acetyl chloride and nh2 here and this product is resolved and this compound is added in this case this co cl2 is added to this nitrogen and one hydrogen goes with this methoxy group as methanol and finally we get the structure of chloromycetin or minus chloramphenicol so this is the final structure of chloromycetin and this is how the structural elucidation of chloromycetin is studied so i hope you loved the video and the video was useful for you so please don't forget to like the video share the video to all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified whenever i upload the new videos Okay, so stay tuned. See you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.